All right, so had a little request uh, to show how I've been cleaning my brushes, and I just discovered this to clean my uh, paint brushes in a ultrasonic cleaner. So this is a really old, beat up ultrasonic cleaner. Hopefully you've got a better one than me, but they all work the same way. Uh, you put water in here, and the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, you can set it with a temperature and all that and timer but what I'll be doing is uh, I'll be cleaning my oil painting brushes in a jar of glass jar of turps so you need to make sure it's glass otherwise the ultrasonic cleaner doesn't clean and for the final pass I have a uh, paintbrush cleaner from uh, Bunnings so if you're in Australia you can get this stuff paint clean up uh, if we're using acrylic brushes uh, you can just use this stuff straight in a glass jar throw your um, brushes in the glass jar and this in there good to go but for oil paint brushes uh, I'll be cleaning with turps first so it's uh, important to make sure you have ventilation when you're working with solvents and usually I have this Big, uh, exhaust fan turned on as well but today since I'm uh, talking in the video I won't have that on just so it doesn't get too annoying and here are my dirty brushes so I'll just show you this one first uh, I'll throw them all in at the same time but uh, this one's just a um, zinc black oil paint on the brush and just throw that in, make sure the brush tip is in there submerged, you don't need to fill it up too much just so the brushes, brush head is submerged set it for a minute and off it goes so what this is does, ultrasonic cleaner, it just vibrates really 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 fast and the vibration goes through the glass into the turps and what you can do is uh, swish it around while it's in there to help speed up the cleaning process but if you have a look there it's pretty much clean already Just push it on the sides and you can see no paint is actually coming out now uh, let me grab a rag here there you go. so it's completely cleaned already took all two, two seconds nah 20 seconds but if you've got a really yeah here's a really thick chunky brush that i've loaded up with paint Chuck that in. Have a look. So generally, you know, cleaning brushes with turps, you have to sit there, swish it around, take it out, get the paper towel out, get the paint off, put it back in the turps. It's annoying. You have to do it, you know, five or six times usually. The shit gets everywhere, everything gets stinky with turps, but using an ultrasonic cleaner, you really just have to do it once, and it gets, gets it nice and clean. So I'm just going to put some gloves on. Still got a bit of paint loaded in here, so that's alright. So I think you just do one while it's in there, squish it around a bit. Squish it on the paintbrush on the sides. Just to help it along. Yeah, this one's already pretty clean. Too bad. 
set it up for another two minutes. <coughs> but yeah, obviously the more paint you have on your brushes, the longer you should uh, leave the brushes in there for. Obviously, you want to change the turps once it gets too grubby. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I used this brush, actually. This one, pretty grubby. Of course, you can give it a wipe before throwing it in. Yeah, that's pretty good now. So this will be the deep clean, and then I'll use that soap cleaner for the final clean. And I'm just going to throw all these in there. So if you do have a good brush like this one, you probably don't want to just dump it in straight in. Uh, you might want to use some clippers to hold it up, hold up the brushes so they don't sit on the bottom. But I use crap brushes, so I don't care. <laughs> I just want my brushes clean. I don't want to spend fucking one hour doing it. It gets really annoying. But yeah. If you got good brushes, don't don't put it rested down the bottom because you know they say it'll get squashed and deformed. Yeah, you can buy these ultrasonic cleaners for fairly cheap now and for just doing uh, brushes you don't need a big one you can get even smaller ones than these uh, and I think they go for under $50 I think this one was like 60 bucks but I'm gonna have to get a new one uh, it's too beat up <laughs> Because I, I did use this for cleaning my resin prints as well. But, uh, <coughs> 3D prints, I mean. But, uh, yeah. It's too small now for any of my prints. Alright, so that's the first step. We'll switch that off. And we'll grab the, again, the uh, paint cleanup from Buddings. I think this, this is not cheap. This is like 25 bucks for a bottle, big bottle like this. But uh, it's supposed to be non-toxic. Yeah, it, do, it does a pretty good job. So, we grab show you this one and throw that in. So after this, uh, I will go and rinse the brushes out in uh, warm water in the, under the tap, and that's it. So we'll let that dry, 
and uh, actually for oil paint brushes I will use uh, Vaseline uh, and just reshape the brushes and uh, yeah they'll, they'll be good to go so I'll show you that as well But yeah, this stuff is pretty good. The the paint cleanup is supposed to restore your brushes as well. And honestly, like most companies make this type of uh, paint cleanup liquid, non-solvent based, and you know they 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 all do a pretty good job, I think. So I'm just gonna throw these in. It's supposed to be bio biodegradable as well, so you can just dump it down the sink, non-flammable, and there's no smell. So if, if you don't like using terps for cleaning up, then you can just use this, even for uh, oil paint brushes. It's just more expensive. <laughs> so I use it as a final clean, so I can... Uh, uh, use it more and then use the toast for the first pass but yeah you can see it's very, very clean. Saves a lot of time by using the ultrasonic cleaner. And it does a really good job. And yeah, once these are all done, again, I'll rinse them under water and uh, we'll, we'll come back and apply this Vaseline or chest rub. When you, before you paint in your next session, just uh, use a paper towel and just try, and try and get off some of that Vaseline. You should be fine. It's all oil-based petroleum products anyway. This is it's just water in the ultrasonic cleaner. You can just tip that out in the sink. It's just clean water. Alright, got the paper towels. So what I'm going to do is just dry these. Squeeze and pull. So you can you see that, uh, you know, this one's pretty, pretty bugged. 
<laughs> pretty rough. So after washing, what I'll do, grab some Vaseline. And just put enough in there so you can reshape the head. Okay. Now Vaseline won't dry it up won't dry out for or oh, two three weeks. So they will, that will be fine to sit like that. And also conditions the uh, the brushes. Okay, Vaseline. Water out. And you can see, you know, pretty much no paints coming out of this. So the cleaning did a good job. It's always hard getting the, if you've loaded up big brushes like this with paint, it's always hard getting the paint out from the middle. You don't want to go too crazy by banding it because you'll ruin the brush. So. But again, I don't use expensive brushes. These brushes are not not like the super super cheap from dollar stores, but close enough. But yeah, the, the most expensive brush is probably this one for fine detail work. But the way I paint anyway, I like to uh, keep things loose. So, big chunky brushes, good for me. Now where you store your brushes, uh, I don't store my brushes in a jar like this, I just trans uh, transport them in it, I, uh, I store my brushes flat, flat on the, on the table, on the surface. And again that's just to keep the, uh, keep the tips of the brushes nice and shape in shape they don't flay out due to gravity which will happen uh, and yeah using the vaseline helps as well but i gotta say the ultrasonic cleaner is definitely you know i've 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 had this thing for a while i've just never thought about using it for cleaning brushes i use it to clean 3d prints but uh yeah it works really great Just uh, keep all your cleaning liquids in a glass jar and uh, fill it up with water. Fill the ultrasonic cleaner up with water. Don't don't fill up the ultrasonic cleaner with uh, your cleaning fluid. It's just a waste and uh, it'll get messy. So do it through a jar and that's a similar effect. And you can use the ultrasonic cleaner for cleaning other stuff in water but once you start putting solvents and stuff in here uh, you don't want to yeah you don't want to be using it on other stuff anyway so that's all done nice and clean brushes all right hope that helps